Hey, what is up, guys? Super Squirtle, 78 here. As, as you guys can see by the title, we're going to be ranking all the quality zombies maps, um, obviously from Treyarch, here down below. Um, if you guys, you know, don't agree with my uh, list, feel free to leave comments down below. I kind of thought this would be kind of fun to do because me, myself, I've, very, I've played very little BO4. I've played a lot of Black Ops 3, a lot of Black Ops 2. Um, a semi a, a bit of BO1 and a lot of Call of Duty World at War. Um, I thought this would be kind of fun just to do for you know myself just to rate all the maps and uh, decide you know what I really think. Um, all the Call of Duty Zombies maps from Treyarch, dudes. Without further ado, let's just get right into this, bros. I'm actually really excited. So, um, obviously starting off with Knocked Durn Toten. Um, obviously this is the starter map. Um. From world at war you actually beat the campaign world at war and you get in, put into this map um there's no perks I'm talking about bare bones Knox. there's no perks um obviously no pack a bunch uh i'm honestly gonna have to give knocked dude I, I feel bad giving it an f but like right off the bat i feel like this map is very bare bones um i'm gonna give it a d rank okay and i'm just gonna give knocked a d rank like you can't really give not anything more than a d because obviously the map is very very bare bones very simple but obviously it did start call of duty zombies it makes me want to give it a c because obviously it was the start of call of duty zombies and everything um verrucked very very crammed very very um like very hard to train unless you're playing the uh bo3 verrucked um not not an easy map i mean it's literally very close quartered very you know and and obviously the best weapon on this map is the Wonderwaf. Um and then if you're playing the BO1 version of this, I think it would be uh the Thundergun. But honestly, dudes, I'm gonna have to give that an F. I'm really gonna have to give it an F. Uh, uh finally a map I actually kinda like. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. The Shinonuma. I still think it goes in the D rank. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. It's very, very bare bones, very simple. No pack a bunch, obviously like Verrucked knocked, very Numa, definitely a uh, D rank. Darice. Okay, so this is the first map with pack a bunch. This is on World at War. Um, Darice. I'm I'm gonna have to give Darice an A rank. Okay, I'm really am a fan favorite. Uh, personally, one of my actual favorites on zombies. I'm not gonna lie. Very very simple, very chill, very laid back. I love the map. Has pack a bunch. It's awesome. It is fun, and I'm gonna have to give Darice. Um, a rank obviously guys this is my own opinion don't get mad feel free to leave comments down below i'd love to have a discussion with you guys i'm not gonna lie uh, this is my initial thoughts so maybe i could come back here in like a week and then you know give you guys a follow-up video to this um obviously i could you know maybe even react to myself reacting to this so um kind of pretty crazy but do our next map which is keener to toten um I'm going to be 100% with you guys. I feel like Keener to Toten, very, very overrated. And I'm going to have to give it a B rank. And the reason I say that is because Keener to Toten is the map after Darice. And it's like Black Ops. It, it's the first map on Black Ops 1. But I feel like there wasn't really much that changed from World at War to Black Ops 1. And, I mean, obviously we got Nova Crawlers. And, um, you know, you know, not even really a whole new way to pack a bunch because it's still the whole teleporting thing. Um... I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I think, yeah, I, I think Kino definitely deserves B rank. It really does. I, I don't think it's any step up past Darice. And I love Darice, like as a map and everything. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's a pretty solid map. So, um, the next map we have here, I've, um, from what I've played of this map is very little. I'm not gonna lie. And I think the map definitely has a good story. It obviously is all the presidents, um, or um, like obviously. All the presidents from the time and uh people that were around like jfk's in this map um and i mean i'm not gonna lie guys i think the map is pretty solid like it's it's not terrible like it's not literally the first map or anything um but don't get me wrong guys i think the map is very bare bones as well and um obviously pack a bunch is actually pretty fun to get turned on and everything i'm gonna have to give five the d rank i really am i think i think it definitely deserves rank um all right our next map is ascension okay so i think ascension 
was where you know in black ops 1 i feel like the the game started getting really like progressively like more story driven um technically our first easter egg that we actually had call of duty zombies so obviously world at war had you know the reese and the east music east but i think this is our full, first fledged easter egg so uh, I feel like the map definitely deserves a seat rank. I'm not going to lie. I feel like it does. So. All of the Dead. From what I've played, I know the map itself is very, 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 very popular with community and stuff. Um, I've I played very little of it. I'm not going to lie. And I feel like it's only fair um, if I give it, you know, a solid... Um... And it's not even that I haven't played a lot of it. It's the fact that I never really got to doing the drag on the map. So I feel like I don't have a big opinion on this map. And, um, of course, the map, like I said, from what I played, it's really cool. And uh, the whole uh, Peter McCain uh, situation, uh, George Romero, obviously him following me around, being the boss of the map. Um, Peter McCain, of course. From um, but the, um, the whole boss situation and everything, I feel like this was the first map in Zombies that had a really cool boss. And I'm going to give it a B rank. I am. I'm going to. Shangri-La. Okay, the Shangri-La, um, very difficult Easter egg, four players required. Um, not a good beginner map. I feel like for most people, when you're playing zombies, um, depends on, you know, what you want to do, whether you want to do Easter egg. Like, Shangri-La is, I feel like Shangri-La is, uh, most definitely an F rank, honestly. Like, I'm gonna be 100% with you guys, I feel like the map itself should be a, not be a four player Easter egg. Um, I feel like it's very, like, really, difficult for beginners to pick up and um i you know if, if i was buying black ops 1 i bought the shangri-la uh, east dlc i started off with that map i would be very confused uh, obviously five to start with that well um but Shangri-La is just not a good starting map to be honest with you. got moon i i i hate giving this map like a solid ranking but i feel like this was really really innovative for call of duty and uh with zombies in general i feel like it just deserves a c rank the whole like air and the anti-gravity situation i guess moon definitely deserves a c okay so transit i feel like is very 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 hated by the community but i'm gonna be 100 with you guys i feel like i found a lot of fun in transit and um had a lot of fun with it obviously uh you know if you're not doing the easter egg on this map it's not terrible especially four players I'm gonna give Transit a B rank. I feel like Transit definitely deserves the B rank, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I think that um, is definitely a debatable situation, especially for like people who like just doing high rounds. Uh, the map's fun with four people, and it's fun to you know try uh, friends and all that stuff. So I feel like it's good you know pick up and play, um, especially um, if you're with other people. So I feel like it's a, it's a fun map. It obviously is very intricate and has a lot going on on it. Definitely. Um, not the the best beginner map, um, especially for Black Ops 2, starting off with it and everything. But I mean, I feel like the maps, you know, stood the test of time. Not gonna lie. Nuketown Zombies. Oh man. Okay, so Nuketown Zombies is one of my favorites. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, super simple, super easy. Um, in the sense that you know, you start off the perks drop in. There's not a lot going on uh, with you know, on everything. Very basic. Um, almost sort of bare bones. Uh, but in the sense that you get pack a punch, you get perks. Um, and you get, you know, a solid place to train. Definitely a solid zombies map. Down zombies, definitely an A rank. Die Rise. Die Rise goes in F. It, it really does. It has so much, it, it has so much going on that I feel like was not, uh, executed enough. And I feel like if there was a Black Ops 2 remaster, um, or if there was Zombies Chronicles 2, I feel like we'd need a Die Rise remake just to, you know, do the, the map its justice. I feel like it definitely could be remastered in a lot better fashion. Uh, maybe even, you know, in a different you know time or a different city or even something different but like i said die rise is definitely an f rank it definitely needs uh it definitely could have some improvements and um i'm not gonna lie i do like you know how you can get yourself a free perk from the uh the jumping jacks on uh die rise but um i feel like that doesn't really stand up for you know especially high rounders on this map i mean you definitely can get a high round on the map especially with the slick fire and everything but uh, slick fire stops you know working the really high rounds um obviously damage that really is a difficult map especially for beginners definitely not a beginner map but give it an f rank
Um, okay, so Mob the Dead. Starting off first with our first S tier. I love Mob the Dead. Probably my second favorite zombies map. I feel like Mob the Dead definitely deserves, you know, S rank. And uh, by the way, guys, in no particular order um, am I putting these in. Um, obviously, A, S, A, B, D, D, F is like the order. But like if Mob the Dead or if Darius is over Nuketown, it, I, I'm just putting them in different categories. I'm not actually sorting them out where they should be, you know, and all that. But I didn't think Mob of the Dead is definitely an S rank. Uh, buried. I feel like Buried's an A rank. And um, I feel like there's not a lot of explaining Buried. It's a simple map. It's really, it's really, really easy for beginners. And um, it's fun for high rounds. Definitely deserves the A rank. Origins, my all-time favorite map. Definitely goes in S. I have my, you know, personal bias on that. Um definitely deserves the s rank in my opinion origins is just a fun map it has four different staffs and it's good for four people or it's good solo and it's really fun to just play and it has you know really cool wonder weapons and um i feel like it's not super hard but it's also not really really uh easy so you know for beginners i feel like this map could definitely work uh it just depends you know especially with the panzer spawning in around eight uh you gotta be prepared for that but it's always fun uh, to play with friends, and it's always fun to play solo, so Origins definitely favorite map of all time. Uh, goes in the S rank. Chat is Eve. Um, Chat is Evil, I feel like it's really grown on me, especially through the, uh, zombies lifestyle, or, <laughs> zombies cycle in Black Ops 3. I feel like it definitely has grown on me after, you know, Black Ops 4 flopping and not really in that big of a game. Um, which, like I said, I feel like the game did well, but not being, you know, the most, you know, most people's favorite uh, Treyarch Zombies map, or Zombies game. Obviously, Shadows definitely grew on me, especially coming back and playing it and stuff. Um, definitely a fun map uh, with friends, and obviously you need four people for the Easter egg, but I feel like the map actually is one of those maps that I feel like it definitely is needed for the Easter egg. Um... It, you know, it has the whole story with the four people. So I feel like the map definitely deserves the four for Shadows Evil, unlike Shangri-La. I feel like Shangri-La really could, you know, it, it, it could. But at the same time, I feel like you, you really, <laughs> Shadows Evil did the four-player execution way better. Good map, though. Really good story. The Risendrak, um Dude, I'm going to be honest. I feel like the Risendrak, Rise and Drag is definitely an S tier, I'm not gonna lie. And, you know, from my personal opinion, I was gonna put it in A, but thinking about it more and more, you know, obviously the four elemental bows and the whole Easter egg and everything, I feel like it's really, really good to pick up and play. Um, it's a super simple, like, and it's not bare bones. It's it's an intricate map with a simple Easter egg and um, really replayable, a really fun map just overall, especially with the four wonder weapons like Origins. Uh, but bows now, really good map. Really. That's a bonus. Um, I remember staying up for launch on this one. I'm not gonna lie. Have some personal bias. Um, I'm doing the Easter egg too as well. I've done I've done all the Bo3 Easter eggs. Um, and obviously, I have you know a spot in my heart. I do have the RK5 on PS4. No flex, but um, like I said, I haven't I don't have it on those. So. Rip custom zombies, but it's you know besides the facts, that's a bonus. Shima. Um, like, I feel like the map itself isn't super bad. I'm going to give it a C rank, and I feel like Zetsubo definitely is a C, because the Easter egg is fun. The Easter egg is fun. I'm not going to lie. Like, I feel like the zombies itself, the gameplay, the high rounding and everything, it's it's not the best, because especially if you're going to go for a high round, it's you pretty much need to do the Easter egg on this map. Uh, but Zetsubo isn't a terrible map, and um, I feel like you could definitely... You could really even get a high round uh, without doing the Easter egg, but it's always fun to do the Easter egg, um, and then um, like the the camping high round spot in Setsubo. Fun, fun, fun stuff though. Garage Krovi, um I'm gonna be 100 percent with you guys. I feel like the Garage Krovi, very, very, very intricate. Not really on for it. Um, the map itself for me isn't really replayable at all, um, unless you're doing the Easter egg. So I feel like I'm gonna give it a C rank. Uh, really, really interesting map, especially with the story, though. And obviously the boss fight. Revelations. Um, replayable map. Super easy for high rounds. 
I'm gonna give it a B rank. Like Revelations goes in the B. Uh, Blood of the Dead. Honestly, probably the best Black Ops 4 Zombies map. And out of all these, I know, you know, I, I didn't really play a lot of um these last two. I did actually end up playing them, though. So I do have an opinion on them. Uh, I actually didn't even play any Ancient Evil. So I technically, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna even, um, I'm not gonna rate Ancient Evil because I did not play any of it. Uh, but for the rest of Black Ops 4, I can rate these. Tagder and Toten. Uh, I've only played the map a few times. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It felt it 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 felt like Call of the Dead and um, for bad. Uh, but at the same sense, I don't like I I'm not a big fan of Black Ops 4. So I'm gonna give it uh, F rank. I don't really think a lot of these maps on Black Ops 4 can be any better than F rank. Uh, nine. Treyarch zombie style. I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I feel like nine is nine might nine might even be the best Black Ops 4 zombies map. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Then again, Dead of the Night's really good, really solid as well as a map. Like especially if you pick it up and play Black Ops 4 just for the fun of it. I feel like Black Ops or uh, Black Ops 4 Dead of the Night isn't super terrible. Uh, I'm pretty pretty sure if I remember the East Dragon. It wasn't the most fun thing to do. I actually ended up completing Dead of the Night because uh, I remember losing interest in the map. Um, I don't think Dead of the Night's super replayable, so I'm going to end up giving this another F tier. Um, I, I hate giving the Black Ops 4 Zombies maps the ratings. I'm not going to rate Ancient Evil, like I said, because I didn't play the map. Alpha Omega. I did play a little bit of this. I, I remember I got Pack a Munch on. I almost did the Easter Egg as well. Um, obviously, Pack a Munch on all that. Um, I'm I'm gonna give this a D rank, and I feel like Alpha Omega was a was a cool map and a good concept and everything, but I just don't think it was executed well enough like Nuketown was. Um, definitely uh, expanded on Nuketown, but I don't think it expanded in the correct spots. Uh, nine. I feel like, like I said, it might be the best Black Ops 4 Zombies map, so I'm gonna give it a B rank. Uh, I feel like it, itself. Doing the Easter egg and everything on this map, I feel like nine was really, really like simple. The fact that like you, you know, you, it was the another starter map on Black Ops Four. I feel like there just was too much content on launch day as well, so I feel like it kind of got drowned out in the launch day stuff. But obviously, uh, was way better than Voyage of Despair. I'm gonna give Voyage of Despair an F because I, I just think the map was way too and difficult for beginners, especially you know starting off with Black Ops Four and everything. I feel like Voyage of Despair is an F rank classified um another map that i feel like it, i feel like it deserves the f rank um maybe not f i feel like maybe it's a it's a d rank. and i'm not gonna lie to you guys i feel like it's d because um like the winter cow and stuff and like i feel like the map concept was there but it just wasn't as good as the original especially with like you know five and everything i feel like uh, it almost makes me want to change five up a little bit. Putting five in the D rank. I feel I feel like five's definitely not over D though. I feel like it's definitely not over D rank. I feel like it definitely deserves Blood of the Dead, um, Nostalgia. Not gonna lie. Nostalgia got me, boys. So Blood of the Dead, Easter egg's good, solid, solid map, raw. Uh, Definitely the most replayable, or not most replayable. It's definitely the most played map I'd had on BO4, but I think 9 is better. Map in general. I feel like the whole map itself in the Easter egg is way more enjoyable and replayable. Blood of the Dead is just Mob the Dead, and I just feel like it wasn't executed well enough. Um, I feel like we definitely deserved a, a different sort of remake, and I feel like Blood of the Dead had its own thing going for it, and I think it shouldn't have been related to Mob of the Dead um, in that sense. So I, I kind of wish that the you know they, they took the spin a little bit different and we didn't go back on Blood of the Dead like it wasn't like Alcatraz Island and everything I wish it was a different take on everything it uh it was a different location obviously we spawned in a different location and everything um but I just I, I wish it was different not gonna lie I have you know obviously leave your comments below what you guys thought of my list uh, Black Ops Four I have a little bit of bias like I said I'm not really the biggest fan of Black Ops Four. And um, I apologize, like I said, you know, maybe in the future, maybe I'll have more of an opinion. But like I said, I'm not going to rate Ancient Evil because I never played the map on Black Ops 4. That was the time when I just 
not play Black Ops 4, fortunately. Um, so that was the only Zombies map I didn't end up ever playing. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I don't really, you know, play this map. Maybe I will. Uh, let me know your comments down below what you guys thought of this map, and let me know what you guys thought of my tier list. I mean, if you guys thought it was great, let me know. If you thought it was terrible, let me know as well. I'd love to know some feedback. Uh, make sure you guys drop a like on this video, you know, whether you liked it or not. Um, drop a like to help me out, boys. Like I said, I mean, you really don't even have to drop a like, um, but just leave me some feed uh, feedback down below. Drop a like if you did enjoy it. Obviously, if you disliked the list, you can leave a dislike as well. You know, any interaction is helpful and stuff. And like I said, guys, let me know what you thought of it. But like I said, Black Ops 4, my bias is there. And I unfortunately just don't think I'm getting around it when the sense that you I really am you know, into, you know, the BO3, the BO2, World at War, and Black Ops 1 maps a lot more than I am Black Ops 4, unfortunately. Um, but not going to lie, bros. I mean, I feel like Black Ops 4 definitely stood up a little bit, you know, solid and stuff. Um, you know, with, with, the, with 9 and everything. The rest is all history, boys. Um, favorite map, Origins, boys. And probably my least favorite map. My least favorite map is probably Shangri La, boys. Honestly, Shangri La. Like it's a very difficult map, and not not the most um, not the most enjoyable in that sense. Uh, four player Easter egg, of course, required and everything. Wasn't really for me. Definitely. All right. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like, drop a sub, turn on the bell. If you guys want to see more Call of Duty Zombies content, make sure you subbed with the bell on. I will see you guys in the next video or live stream very, very soon. Thank you guys for coming out and watching this tier list of mine. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one very soon, boys. Peace out, boys. Peace, guys.